There's been a nationwide record high for gas prices the last 13 days in a row. 19 other states have already surpassed the $5 mark for a gallon of unleaded. Auto experts say it's too early to tell if these record prices will increase demand for electric vehicles in Minnesota. But a recent CBS poll found almost 60% of drivers would consider getting one. So does going electric make financial sense? Good question. Heather Brown worked with an expert to plug in the numbers. So this thing get pretty good pickup? Oh, that's the beauty of it. Three years ago. It's super fun to drive. Diana McEwen bought her Nissan Leaf. How far can you go on one charge? Um, so this is a plus model. It has a little bit bigger battery. A full battery is about 220 miles. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, a little bit less in the winter. And I'm so grateful right now to be driving an electric vehicle. Is it cheaper to own an EV versus a gas-powered car? Yes. Moaz Uden is an EV policy specialist. And it's going to vary with what you're driving. And How much you drive. And what you're switching to. It's hard to give one answer to this question. Indeed, that is right. But okay. let's try. So let's crunch these numbers. Where do we start? We started with the cost of charging versus fuel. So we have right now the average in Minnesota 466. 466. The average gas-powered car gets 26 miles per gallon. The average American drives 15,000 miles a year. So you're getting $2,688 Whew, per year on per gas. Per year on gas. Ooh, wow, okay. Now to the charge. Here we use kilowatt hours. You need about 2,750 kilowatt hours to go 15,000 miles. At 15 cents a pop? Gives you $562.5. Whoa. I plug in in my garage. Um, I don't even plug in every night. And that's not even including if you charge overnight at lower rates. Oh, yes. Then it's $150 a year. You also save on maintenance, again, on average, about 60%. The only thing I need to do is get my tires rotated and windshield wiper fluid. But the EVs cost more to yeah. buy. Upfront. Yes. So this car was about 42000 On average, EVs cost about $10,000 more than their gas counterparts. But there's a federal tax incentive of $7,500 for EVs that aren't Tesla or GM. I use the cord that came with the car as my charger. But many people also pay between $500 and $1,500 for a charger in their home. Using last year's gas prices, studies found eight years was the average break-even point. So that eight years is probably less now with gas prices the way they are. Yes, uh -huh. yes. But how much less depends on you. What would you say to someone who says, right now, I'm thinking about an yeah. EV, but I just yeah. don't know? Yeah, I would say go test drive one. Heather Brown. See what you think. Yeah. WCCU, 4 News. While Teslas are still the most popular EV, there are dozens of other options, and about half of them are cheaper than the average cost of a gas-powered car. But the market for EVs is really mm -hmm. tight right now as well. Just like the gas counterparts, there's probably a waiting list for many models. If you have a good question for Heather, just email her through wcco.com links.